I wanted to frisbee my phone. Like that, I feel offended. I understand we can't offend people of that community, but I feel offended. So what happens when me, a straight male, feels offended? All right, check this, right? Real quick disclaimer, real quick disclaimer, so I know if this video is for you. If you're the type of person that think Chris Brown can beat Usher in a versus battle, this video is probably not for you. And if you're the type of person that order pizza and you tell them to cut it in squares instead of cut it in slices, this video is probably not for you. Everybody know you can have two of the exact same pieces, but if you cut one of them in squares, it's not going to hit like the other one. The other one's going to taste better with the slices. Just order the slices, bro. But this video is probably not for you. And last but not least, if you're the type of person that barbecue for Easter, you know, a little family dinner, you don't invite the whole family, this video is probably not for, you know what? This video might not be for you because I swear, I thought we was tied in. I thought we was bandana fam. Y'all ain't even offering me a hot dog, a sausage, a hamburger, or nothing. I know y'all cooking because I know y'all got y'all stimulus. Y'all got y'all taxes too. And some of y'all still doing unemployment fraud, but we ain't going to talk about that. But anyways, these disclaimers had absolutely nothing to do with this video, but let's get started. They can't stand the facts. No. A lot Insane, they can't stand this rap. I'm so buffalo, like I'm bandana black. But from the 716, we determined it, we discipline. Oh, that's your man, better get him for you missing that. DJ Band Band Bandana. Hey, yo, what's good? It's DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected, Mr. Hashtag I Am Buffalo. First off, before we get into everything else, happy Easter. I hope everybody is enjoying it. Hope you're uh, socially distancing, even if you are with family, six feet away. I hope y'all just have a ball today. Eat as much as you can, drink as much as you can, relax, and enjoy life. You gotta enjoy life because you never know when you're not gonna be here. But, anyways, listen, before we get into this whole uh, Lil Nas X situation, I just wanna say this up front. What I'm about to say in this video, I do not mean in an offensive way at all to any group. Uh, group of people, anything like that too. But I'm I'm offended. I'm definitely offended. We're going to talk about that. But before we get in that, shout out to my homie, uh, Mark Lee. He got a new video, tight new joint too. It's called All I Need. Heavy shout out to the homie, Mark Lee. I'm going to play a snippet of the video right here. Links will be below so you can check out the whole video so you can follow him, support him, uh, show him some love. He definitely got some dope music too. I got a funny story about Mark Lee too. When I went to go see him perform one day, it was just, it was phenomenal. Like this guy performing, the way that he's performing under those conditions. We'll talk about that later date though. But this is my man, Mark Lee. All I need right here, like I said, links will be below for you to check out the whole joint. Don't let your demons hover over you, cover you. Dreadlock your hog tied mouth wide. Get my spirits in line. After the L, I had to trip my worst. A hat trick, my name no cap, and you're a gospel with no chance in this rap. But see, I perform the rainstorms on stages and platforms, so they clap for them. All right, so like I said, that was my homie Mark Lee. It's called All I Need. Links will be below so you can check out the whole video. So you can follow him. I'll make sure I put his links to his Instagram and all that too. Show the homie some love. Only thing that I ask, if you do go over to his page, just hashtag Bandana Fam so you know uh, you're part of the Bandana Fam. You know, we get special treatment everywhere. You got to just hashtag Bandana Fam. No, I'm joking. But I'm for real. No, I'm joking. But anyways, listen, Lil Nas X, right? So let me just say this up front. I know that in the certain climate that we are in the world today, um, I'm going to just be honest with you. You can't say anything publicly bad or even slightly disagree with anybody that's of the Jewish community and you can't say anything about anybody that's part of the I'm not being funny I don't know all the acronyms all the letters the LGB the group of people that's in that group of things like I said, I'm not trying to be offensive but I'm offended so about a week ago a lot of people hit me up about this I just didn't want to report on it because I refuse to post this on my channel so I'm letting you know now what I'm actually talking about you have to go look on Instagram yourself I don't ever want to see this again in my life so about a week or two ago I'm scrolling through Instagram you know late night just scrolling through Instagram seeing what's going on and I see little Nas X swinging around a pole with some chaps on just 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 doing him now mind you <clears throat> What you do in your personal space, however you grow up, however you want to be, whether you like men, whether you like women, that's all on you. That has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with me. My only stance on that is that I think that if you're under 18 years old um, and your parents are promoting or allowing you to, to do that, just my personal opinion, I think that that's wrong. I think that's borderline child abuse. Uh, just speaking of the whole Dwayne Wade situation, I understand little Zay or whatever his son that's a daughter now, if you 18, you want to do that, that's cool. But in my house, you're going to be raised as what you were born to be because that's what you're born to be that's what you're supposed to be now if you choose to be something else at age 18 that's cool little Nas x old enough cool now i think little Nas x is trolling in a little bit and i think that he, he's using his preference as a way to gain attention which i think is wrong because if we use your preference and it's bad attention do you have a problem with it but what little Nas x did right so he basically said that people were uh downing him because of his preference people were speaking bad of him telling him he was going to hell people were just that comes with the territory i'm on youtube you know how many people on youtube in the comments say that they wish i'd die it comes with the territory so if i'm a youtuber i gotta accept people saying bad things about me if you're an artist that's selling millions and millions of records everybody's not gonna like it and honest to god when i first heard was it old country or old town road whatever the song was it was hitting that's anybody i was playing even a remix on the radio going crazy with it on a remix on the radio until i found out 
some other things about him that I personally don't agree with. And I was like, you know what? I can't really, I don't know. If y'all request it, I'll play it. But I ain't just going to throw it in the mix. That's the type of person I am. Like I said, I, don't, I just personally, I don't, that's just not something that's that, that's cool with me. Now, I think that Little Nas X, even with the sneakers, uh, for you guys don't know, he uh, did some sneakers, um, some Air Max sneakers, and basically said he put a drop of human blood or some type of blood in each sneaker and said worship the devil and all that stuff too. He basically saying that people saying that he's going to hell, he might as well... Uh, benefit off of it. I don't think that you should do that. You shouldn't play with God. You shouldn't play with devil. You shouldn't play with any of that stuff. And Little Nas X, if you're watching this, which I'm 99.9% .9 sure that you're not watching this because I'm not a big YouTuber, but for those of you who are watching, this is what I'm saying with Little Nas X. Um, you can't say that everybody is against you and everybody is down on you because of your preference when that's really the thing that catapulted to your career. Like the Old Town Country Road song was was dope. It was hitting. It was, it, it was in the church. But as soon as he said that, yo, I'm on this side of things, it took off. Everybody supported it. Everybody told it. So it's not like people are talking down on you or saying that you're going to hell. I mean, yes, of course, most religious people are going to say that you're going to hell because it, it, it is a sin if you're following those religions. Um, like I said, me personally, I have my own personal beliefs. I'm not going to push that on you guys. Just like you can't push your own personal beliefs on me because I could just like not read the comments or you could just not not watch the video. But I say it to say this, um, Little Nas X. You can't play both sides of the fence. You can't on one side of it say, okay, I'm happy to be this and I'm happy to play on this side of the team, but I don't want to take what comes with it. Same with, with me. If I'm happy to be on this side of the team and doing things that I feel is okay in, in my personal life, I can't be mad if somebody doesn't like that. But for you to say that this is the reason why you're doing this because there's so much stuff coming on you, like, you know how I many people that, that's, that's their preference, but they're flat broke, they're because of Corona lost their job, they're because of... They, they, they came out and said it their way that their family just totally disowned them and they don't have millions of dollars to just go live their own life. They still have to live in that household. So I think that that's an excuse and I think that that's wrong. Um, if you're going to be that, you got to, even with, with people that's in the street, if you're in the street, you call yourself a street guy and you get locked up, you got to take what comes with that. You can't cry and say, oh, they put me over for no reason or this ain't fair. I shouldn't do 15 years for just moving this little bit of Reggie. No, you chose to do that. So Little Nas X, you chose to, to, to put a record out. You chose to make yourself... Um, what your preference is known. Nobody else would have never known. I mean, I, I did think it was kind of odd that it was a black guy with the whole cowboy thing and stuff like that too, but you never know. I mean, a lot of people are doing different things. Doing different things. I almost just choked it up on the lower, on the lower right there too, but a lot of people are doing uh, different things out here. And um, I know that you say that we have to accept it. I, I don't think we have to accept anything. You have to respect it. Like, you can't disrespect people who that may be their preference. You can't, like, do hate speech and try to hurt them and stuff like that too, but you don't, this is America. You have a right to Whatever you, whatever your preference is, whatever you feel. If I don't like that, I don't have to like it. I don't have to accept it. I have to respect it because that's another human being. So I do respect it. Don't accept it. That's one thing on this channel that you're never going to see me say is okay. I don't care whether it, it and like I said, I'm not purposely trying to offend any people. There's plenty of people in the bandana fam who's have different preferences and stuff like that too, which is cool. I don't have a problem with it. I'm not pushing my, my preference on you. You're not pushing your preference on me. But at the end of the day, you can't make it seem like because you you chose that it is a choice that you chose that that preference or you chose to come out and let the world know these things that everybody was going to be okay with it. it it just doesn't happen that way it doesn't it's just life it just doesn't happen that way but i want to hear from you guys um below first of all i want to know why nobody invited me for your, your easter dinner too like i thought we was family i can't get a plate though that's the first thing i want to know second thing i want to know do y'all think that Lil Nas X is, that's a good excuse to say that, oh, because I came out this way and it was just so much hate stuff, so now that's why I'm just going to just be on Instagram. Like, go to Lil Nas X Instagram. Like I said, I'm not going to post it on this. I didn't even, I wasn't even following Somebody else had posted it. Just scrolling through Instagram, like, dead ass here. Like, when you see this, like, I really, I want to frisbee my phone. Like, that, that, I feel offended. I understand we can't offend people of that community, but I feel offended. So what happens when me, a straight male, feels offended? It, it shouldn't be up there. Like, do that. Do do an OnlyFans or something like that. Because I'm not just par parading around my uh, straight life or whatever. That didn't really make sense. But y'all get what I'm saying. Anyways, y'all hop in the comments and let me know. I hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all uh, Easter. Y'all be safe out there. It's DJ Band in the Black. Mr. Well Connected, even more respected. Mr. Hashtag I Am Buffalo. I'm out. Don't let your demons hover over you, cover you. Dreadlock your hog tied, mouth wide. Get my spirits in line. After the L, I had to trip my worst. A hat trick, my name no cap, and you're a gospel with no chance in this rap. But see, I perform the rainstorms on stages and platforms, so they clap for them. DJ Band Band Bandana.